Hello and welcome Leo. I am Pisces Intuition. Alright, so Leo, this is going to be your Valentine's read. Um, this first part is going and we are it's gonna be two videos in one. It's gonna be timestamped. So this first part of the reading is going to be if you are in separation from someone that you are curious about, wanting to know is there going to be a reconciliation? Um, you know, just kind of wanting to know again about this, you know, um, separation issue, then you can go ahead and watch this video. But if you could care less about the ex, care less about reconciling, you want something new, or you are you are with someone new and want to see where it's going, then go ahead and click that timestamp down below, and it will take you over to the other reading. All right, so Leo, let's go ahead and get started. What is going on with Leo? Okay, so we have disconnected. Okay, so Leo, you could be very disconnected from your person. Um, this could be just perhaps you were ghosted, um, maybe even just kind of left them. This just seems like um, all of a sudden you know, just like very sudden, very fast, like all of a sudden, like I said, just feeling very disconnected from your person or from this person. Or this could even just be kind of um, being disconnected from people in general. All right. We have Muse and the answer is yes. Okay. So I'm going to set that there. Okay, so um, with Muse, it's almost like you are kind of waiting to be inspired, or maybe inspiration is what kind of sets you off um, from staying within this particular partnership, or it's just, it's like you're lacking inspiration within this partnership, or within friendships, just within, you know, relationships in general, and you're just feeling very disconnected. Now, with the answer is yes, there could be a particular um, question that's been weighing on your mind. And that answer would be yes. Let me go ahead and take one more. Just because if you know, somebody out there didn't have an, um, a question that they were wondering about. Okay, so we have numbing. So this is really kind of going along with the, um, I'm going to set that down here, but this is really kind of going along with the disconnected for me. All right. So we have justice, we have strength, we have fertility, and we have five of arrows. All right. All right. So Leo, um, Hmm. Starting off, like I said, I'm just getting that you guys, um, a lot of you are kind of just disconnected in more than just one relationship, you know, not just romantic relationships. Let me adjust this so you guys can see all the cards here. Um, but this is just kind of being, like I said, feeling disconnected just from like the world, you know, really doing a full on hermit mode, um, almost like the hermit mode hangman combined, you know, really kind of going within, looking in that, um, doing that introspection. Um, trying to see the bigger picture, trying to see things from a different point of view. You know, again, kind of really searching for um, that lightning strike, searching for, you know, that inspiration, you know, searching for either a new passion or just something that's really going to kind of light that fire within you and, you know, just light that drive within you. Now, the answer is yes. Like I said, this could be for some of you who have, um, you know, kind of a question weighing on your mind then the answer is yes, or the answer, you know, is yes, leading to, um, you know, are you going to get that creative spark? Are you going to feel that, um, you know, like I said, that lightning strike? And, you know, yes, you are. Um, but right now, it's just like you're in a very, like I said, disconnected, numbing kind of state of mind. It's just like nothing is very um, pleasurable to you, um, you know, or satisfactory. It's just like, you're just kind of going through the motions. You're kind of do, just doing day to day, you know, doing the things you have to do, but nothing that you want to do, which is 
you know, that's life. <laughs> but, um, all right. So we have uh, justice here. And this is really talking about, you know, evening out the scales, you know, balancing the scales. It's about, again, kind of making a decision as far as, you know, what it is that you want. Um, you know, making sure that you are putting both time, effort, and energy into something and making sure that it's reciprocated. You know, making sure you're not the only one doing all the work. You know, with the strength card here, um, this card has come out for a couple of the readings. And like I said, I think this one, there's a few stories behind these cards that are like just my absolute favorite stories. And this is definitely one of them. But um, the strength card here, this is talking about you know, finding that inner strength, but also having that inner strength to really proceed in what do what what feels right. You know, even though you are told to do something else, you are you know you have these orders to follow. Um, you know, whatever the case is, you know, it's listening to that intuition, and you know, even though you may be disobeying orders, it's doing it because you know it feels right. It's doing it because you know you feel a higher obligation to you know another another road or another, you know, decision than what you were told to do, if that makes sense. Um, then we have the Empress card, well, fertility, which, you know, that's the Empress card. And, you know, this is uh, the card of, you know, Cleopatra and Caesar, you know, Cleopatra, you know, everybody knows who she is. Um, but, you know, this is also, you know, talking about how he kind of helped her to, you know, get her get her thrown back, you know, to kind of, um, you know, take care of the, the queendom. <laughs> I don't want to say kingdom, but, um, but you know, it's, it was him, you know, ultimately, you know, trying to help her, like I said, get back on her feet, you know, but Cleopatra, she was very intelligent. She was very, um, you know, she's kind of, you know, you think about it, that's the perfect card for her as empress, because I mean, like I said, she was really comfortable in her throne. She knew her worth. She, you know, really kind of knew, um, she wasn't going to chase anything. She wasn't going to, you know, she, like I said, she knew her worth. She knew what she wanted. She knew how to get what she wanted. She was a very intelligent woman. Um, you know, very strong leader at that. And, you know, with this fertility card, you know, like I said, this is kind of you, and this could be for a man or a woman. So just because I'm saying woman, you know, energy, you know, take it how it resonates. Like I said, this doesn't have to just be referring to um, a feminine energy. <clears throat> but, um, but, you know, definitely, like I said, this is someone who knows their worth. This is someone who knows what they want, you know, who's really had to kind of dive in, you know, use that inner strength. Like I said, even though it may be going against someone else's wishes, doing what ultimately feels right to you, what is ultimately going to be done in your best interest. Because at the end of the day, who has your best interest at heart but you? Um, you know, then we have the five of arrows. Now, the five of arrows, you know, that's kind of winning but at a cost. You know, it's one of those... Um, you know, it also talks about kind of mind games, you know, could uh, talk about kind of, um, you know, mind games, gossip, um, you know, sometimes outside, inter um, outside, you know, influence, um, or interference, but you know, this is ultimately, like I said, I think you're just kind of breaking away from this. I think you're tired of certain things. I think you are tired of mind games. I think you're tired of just kind of being um, led on, pulled along, you know, tagging along, however you want to refer to that or however, you know, you feel about that. Just, you know, you're tired of it. You want something new. You want something different. Like I said, you want something that's going to bring more of a balance. That's going to be, at the end of the day, in your best interest. You, you know what's in your best interest. You know what you want that's going to help you become successful. That's going to, again, give you that spark of creativity, that spark of energy, that, um, you know, light that passion within you. And I'm not getting that here. You know, I'm just getting that you are, either you both are very disconnected from each other, um, you know, and it's just kind of at the point that there's what's left in this relationship is what I just, I keep getting. All right. So let me see. I do want to take, yeah, then we have the three of cups and, you know, that's just ultimately talking about. Again, wanting that muse, wanting that that creative spark, wanting to get out there, wanting to kind of see what else is out there, wanting to, um, you know, feel that new, feel that fresh, feel that, 
that excitement. It's like, you know, within this connection, or, you know, maybe you've been single for a while, maybe, because I'm getting for some of you, you've been disconnected from this person for quite some time, but you've just been kind of stuck in that energy. You've just been kind of staying solo for a while. Um, but you know, it's been, like I said, very numbing, very dull. You know, nothing's here to really kind of spark that within you, you know, light that passion. And so now that's what you're in search of. That's what you're going towards. But you know, you know, how to separate, you know, the mind games and, you know, everything. You know, for some of you, you could have been involved with, you know, a narcissist. Um, you could have been involved with someone who was just kind of, you know, verbally or even just mentally abusive. Um, and, you know, you're, you want something different. You know, that's not what you deserve. And you know that, like I said, you had to find that inner strength that took that to kind of walk away, to really step into that empress um, status. You know, you could have had kids with this person for some of you, um, very few of you. You know, you had kids with this person. Um... But, you know, you ultimately, like I said, you made that decision to disconnect. You made that decision to leave because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't in your best interest. But like I said, you know, you want to see what else is out there. You're moving towards happier times. You're moving towards, um, you know, fun times. Like I said, I'm not getting reunion as far as that goes. But I am just getting more laid back, you know, celebrating. Um, like I said, having fun. All right. Let's go ahead and take couple little oracle cards here. Okay, Leo. What do we have for Leo? Alright. So we have the siren. Alluring, seductive, enticing, mysterious, threatening, vindictive, and rebellious. All right, so for some of you, um, you know, like I said, your person, that's them playing mind games. That's your person, um, you know, being kind of vindictive, you know, kind of threatening, playing those mind games with you, you know, but also using their, knowing that you're attracted to them, so kind of using that to their advantage. But, you know, that's all part of mind games. And that could be female energy or male energy, it doesn't matter. And then we have me and my ego. Pride or fear in the way, not contacting you, but thinking of you often, repaying or replaying over in mind. All right, so this is definitely, like I said, someone who's disconnected, but perhaps wants to kind of um, either reach out or maybe, you know, sorry about how they treated you. Um, Leo, I'm not really getting that you want to reconnect. For some of you, I think you do. For some of you, I think it's worth a shot. Or you feel like it's worth a shot, I should say. But for others of you, it's like, it's, you know, it's been over. It's been done for quite some time. It's like, I don't want to go back. All right. And then we have the guarded heart. Lingering trust issues. Fear from past hurts. Love can't get through that wall. Forgive and let go. And, you know, Leo, this is very important for you, you know, to, you know, to just forgive this person if, you know, not for their, you know, not for their best interest, but, you know, for you. That way you're not carrying around those heavy burdens. You're not carrying around, you know, regret, um, loss, you know, disconnectant, you know, numbing. You're not, you know, self-medicating. You're not doing anything like that. You know, it's just forgiving and releasing. All right. And then we have exclusive. Um, girlfriend, boyfriend, commitment, possible marriage material or life partner, not dating other people. All right, and so, Leo, this is what I'm really kind of feeling, you know, that you want. All right. Um, you know, you want that exclusiveness. You want that, like I said, you are looking for passion. You are looking for a life partner. You don't want, you know, Mr. or Mrs. right now. You want long-term. You want commitment. You want loyalty. You want solidarity. Um, you know, foundations to kind of grow on. And, you know, like I said, you're looking for something exclusive. You're looking for someone who shares those same points of view. So, all right, well, Leos, that is what I have for you on this side. So now if you are interested in seeing about new love or what is coming in for new love, go ahead and hit that timestamp down below, and I will see you over there. All right, Leo, so if you are here to find out about new love... Or perhaps you're already in a new relationship with someone and you're just kind of wanting to see um, where it's going to go. Then this is the reading for you. All right. 
So I've already kind of pre-shuffled. I'm just kind of getting the energy going here. And then I will draw a few cards for you. Okay, we had one fly out here. Okay. Okay, so we have the moon card. We have justice. We have the ace of pentacles. And then we have Seven of Wands. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna lower you guys so you can see what I am seeing here. All right, so Leo, starting off, we have the moon. You know, this is kind of being, you know, starting off with a little bit of confusion. Um, maybe, you know, possibly trying to figure out what it is that you want. Where do you want to go from here? You know, again, kind of if you followed me from the um, first timestamp, you know, what is it that's going to light that spark within you? You know, what is it that's going to make you happy? You know, really bring back that passion. So with the moon card, that's what I'm kind of getting for, you know, for you is just figuring things out. You know, it's really kind of um, setting those intentions out there, you know, to kind of come back, you know, to manifest. And again, just, you know, overall, ultimately figuring out what it is that you want. <clears throat> um, now with the Justice card, um, the Justice card actually came out in the first one too. But, you know, again, this is talking about, you know, keeping, you know, you want balance. You want, <laughs> um, for some of you, it's like, I want karma. <laughs> um, but for those of you, you know, for some of you too, it's just, again, kind of finding something that works. You know, it's really trying to balance those scales. Um, this is also talking about kind of, I mean, this is, you know, a card of karma. So, you know, that does make sense. Um, but it's also, you know, kind of taking a turn for, you know, good things, realizing, like I said, what it is that you deserve. And, you know, again, going back to the moon, you know, releasing things or wanting, releasing into the universe the things that you want, you know, in order to manifest. Now with the Ace of Pentacles here, you know, this is, you know, a brand new opportunity. This is, a, you know, a fresh new start. This is something to grow, something to build on. This is, um, you know, again, just a new opportunity. You know, it's that... And for some of you, um, going back to the first reading as well, you know, we have the Empress card and then we have the Ace of Pentacles in this card. Now for some of you, it's going to be um, some fertility. So, you know, this is, we are getting close to Valentine's Day. I know a lot of people are just going to be in that romantic mood and everything, but if you don't want kids, um, please keep this in mind and keep, you know, just take precautions, okay? <laughs> because like I said, Ace of Pentacles and the Empress did come out. So again, just, you know, forewarning. Um, but you know, you guys are, like I said, you are ready to embark on that brand new journey, that brand new beginning. You know, then we have the seven of pentacles and you know, it's like this time you're going to be kind of picky and choosy. You're not going to settle. It's like, you know what you're looking for, you know what you want and you know, you're going to fight for it. Um, you know, you're also going to be protecting your heart at the same time. It's like, you're not just going to let anybody in. You're not just going to put those walls down for just anybody. You know, this person has to really kind of be worth your while. Like I said, this person really has to light that spark within you and really has to, um, you know, I don't want to say be worth your time because that sounds kind of, uh, rude, <laughs> but I mean, this person really has to really catch your eye. And like I said, just really be worth it for you. Because like I said, you're not going to release those walls for just anybody. All right. And then we have the page of wands. Sorry, I did not see that. And then we have the last card of king of pentacles. All right. So now with the page of wands, you know, this is some good news coming in. This um, could also be communication. This could also be, you know, someone, um, you know, perhaps you are, this could be a new offer coming in is what I'm trying to say. This could also even be an apology. This could be, um, like I said, communication, um, especially good news. Hmm. But, you know, I'm also seeing, like I said, with um, the king of pentacles here, you know, you are, like I said, you are really feeling yourself. You are feeling very put together. You are feeling very in your throne, very, um, very optimistic, you know, about the now, about your future. 
Um, again, really figuring out what it is that you want, you know, how you're going to get there. I think you're more focused for a lot of you. You are more focused on finances than you are relationships at the moment. But like I said, I still see somebody kind of coming in or at least expressing communication. Um, you know, maybe this would be something as simple as just a coffee date. Um, but like I said, I mean, I do see you still really kind of protecting your heart. Um, you know, especially after, you know, the last situation. It's like you've just gotten to a point where if this person isn't going to be that muse, this person isn't going to be that, you know, electrifying, you know, insane chemistry between you, you know, it's just like, hmm, you know, I, I've got work to focus on. <laughs> I've got me to focus on. You know, and that's just what I kind of keep getting for you, Leo. Um, you know, you're really in search, like I said, for that passion, for that chemistry. And it's something that's been kind of lacking for quite some time. And you're not just going to let anybody in. So, all right. So then we have, for your oracle card, I should say, um, we have boat. And this is receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, and closure issues. All right. Um, now, with justice coming out twice, that could also be, for some of you, a divorce. And so, therefore, you have to, um, you know, this is referring to, like, paperwork. Um, you know, there could be, you know, some issues as far as, like, like I said, with the divorce, it could be, um, you know, kind of arguing over assets, over money, over, you know, whatever. Um, so, you know, just keep that in mind. Like I said, for some of you, this is, like I said, the ending of a relationship as far as, um, you know, a divorce goes. So just keep that in mind. Like I said, there could be some possible closure issues because we did have justice coming out twice. So it's not just an ending. It could also be, like I said, a divorce. Um, but, you know, this is also boat here. This is also, like I said, receiving what it is that you need. This is also progression. Like I said, moving towards, you know, things that you want, things that are going to um, make you feel good, make you feel steady, you know, really allow you to kind of build, like I said, especially with this King of Pentacles and, you know, with that Seven of Wands being very protective of yourself, very protective of, you know, everything that you are trying to build and being very protective, you know, just of your emotions, you know, and your heart. All right, because it's like, I keep hearing, I'm not going to make the same mistakes. It's like, you know, you want something completely different. You want something completely new, and you're not going to settle, which a lot of people, I've been getting that for so many readings. Um, you know, and hey, more power to you. That's great. All right. Okay, so we do have heartbroken. This is deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and mourning. So for some of you Leos out there, like I said, you're still kind of going through that grieving process. You are still, you know, building up those walls. Um, you know, relationships really aren't on your mind right now. You know, you're just kind of focusing, like I said, more on work and on your finances, on building than you are um, relationship, you know, bottom of the deck, you know, eight of pentacles, which is, like I say, you know, why you guys keep focusing on work and, um, you know, wanting to build, like I said, wanting to grow, um, so for some of you, you're still not, and it could be because, you know, the, the divorce, you know, maybe isn't completely finalized. Um, it could be, like I said, because there's some issues there, you know, um, closure issues there. <clears throat> for others of you, it's just, you want some time to heal. You want some time to focus on you. You know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You know, take time. There's no time limit, like I said, on grieving. There's no time limit to heal a broken heart. Um... You know, but like I said, you guys are moving to and focusing on more, you know, stability. All right. And then for your uh, lover's oracle cards, we have sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. You know, and like I said, this king of pentacles coming in, you know, like I said, you're not just going to let anybody in. You're not just going to, you know, drop those walls for just anybody, Leo. It's going to take someone really special. So, you know, this next person that's coming in could be a very special, very sacred union, you know, to you. It could be someone, um, you know, again, who's just, you know, you really feel connected to. Again, who brings that passion within your life, who really lights that fire within you. All right. And then we have this card. And it is talking about freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want to be. And, you know, that's like I said, what a lot of you are kind of moving towards. You know, you're releasing, you're healing. Um, you know, you have that boat coming in of, you know, good things coming in for you. 
So, you know, just like I said, freedom. All right, and then we have, um, let's see this last card. Only time will tell. Yeah. So, Leo, a lot of this, you know, this is in your court. Like I said, nothing is set in stone. This is definitely ball in your court type situation. Where do, Where is it that you want to go from here? Um, you know, like I said, for some of you, there's going to be, you know, very uh, special person coming in, like a soulmate, someone who is very uh, connected to you. Like I said, someone who you feel very strongly about, very passionate towards, you know, insane chemistry, someone who, you know, it's just, you're very protective over them. You know, you feel, like I said, very strongly about them. It's going to be a very sacred union, you know, but in the meantime, for some of you, like I said, you know, for some of you, you don't want that yet. You know, you just want to focus on you. You want to heal and you want to build. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, at the end, only time will tell. All right, Leo, but that is what I have for you for your reading. Um, I appreciate you all and thank you so very much for watching. Sorry, I have to keep pausing because I think the train's gone and then there it goes again. Um, so hopefully it didn't interfere too much with the reading, but again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope wherever you are, you know, if you do, if you are celebrating Valentine's day, um, you know, I wish you the best. I hope you have a great time. You know, even if you're doing the solo thing, you know, by all means have fun with it, have a great time, love yourself and, you know, just make it worth your while. Like I said, have fun, do something crazy, do something out of the ordinary, you know, get out of that rut. So, all right, Leo, that's what I have for you guys. Thank you all so very much, and I will see you again soon.